Hey guys, welcome to another Minecraft mod tutorial, and I'll be showing you guys how to set up to make mods for the new Minecraft version 1.6, and I'll just be showing you how to install the Minecraft Coder Pack and uh, the Mod Loader, because all my future tutorials will be Mod Loader compatible, which will make it so you don't have to install a new uh, Minecraft jar file every time you want to use a mod, it'll pretty much make most mods work together so that'll be nice so yep I'm just gonna start by showing you how to uh, install everything for version 1.6 so the first thing we want to do is uh, I always just install a MCP file on the C drive just so I have quick access to it and it's uh, it's nice so I'm just gonna name it MCP underscore version 6 just cuz I have a uh, other MCP files here so I'm just going to use version 6 and this is the file where we will put the Minecraft coder pack and it will contain all your uh, classes, your Java classes you can edit and everything you want to do to make mods. We'll put that in there. Okay, so first thing we want to do is just hop on the internet and I'm going to go to Google and download the Minecraft coder pack. So I'm just going to type in Minecraft MCP hit enter and just go to the MCP release releases which should be the first link so just scroll down um, we're gonna download version 4 because that's for Minecraft version 1.6 so just go ahead and hit download and click download and I'm gonna save it in my MCP file for now so MCP version 6 and hit save and then while that's downloading, let's go ahead and download Mod Loader. So just type in Minecraft Mod Loader. And uh, let's see, hit the first link, and there it is. So, okay, this is the Mod Loader. So uh, it, it tells you how to install everything, but hopefully by watching this video, you don't have to put up with all the text and trying to figure out everything so just come down here to mod loader beta 1.6.6 and that's what you have to download so just hit the direct download and I'm just gonna save it on my desktop for now and that's almost all we need to download for now so just minimize that okay so first thing we want to do before we set up the minecraft coder pack is I'm gonna install mod loader on our uh, Minecraft jar file. Now, installing it now will enable us so when we uh, set up the Minecraft coder pack we can actually uh, extend from mod loader and use it to make mods and then also by installing it now you can also download mods and it'll work. So it's a good thing to do right now so I'm gonna navigate to my C drive so Okay, so we want to go to our Minecraft jar file, which is located in the C drive under users, and then uh, whatever your name is, and under app data. Now, if app data is uh, not there, it's because it's a hidden file, and I currently have hidden files shown so you can see it. So uh, if you want to change it, just go to your control panel, and there's a little option that says, uh, you know, make hidden folders visible. So just do that. So now click app data, then roaming and dot minecraft and in your bin. Now this is your Minecraft jar file right here. So you're just gonna wanna open it with uh I use WinZip, but whatever works for you. And the first thing you want to do is delete your meta imp folder. And make sure you don't have Minecraft running, otherwise you're not gonna be able to uh uh delete anything because it's in use. So, anyways, after you delete your meta inf, let's minimize that for a second. And I'm just going to unzip mod loader uh, right to my desktop. So, there's our all our mod loader files. So, I'm just going to select all those. And all you have to do is just uh, select it again. But uh, all you have to do is drag these into your. Uh, Minecraft jar file and just 
be careful not to accidentally drag it in one of these files. I've done that before, so uh, close that out, and I'm just going to delete my mod loader stuff. Okay, now let's start setting up the Minecraft coder pack. So just go to where you installed it. So mine is MCP underscore version six, and I'm just going to extract everything to right in this folder. So wait a second. Okay, now I'm going to delete that zip file. Okay, so this is our Minecraft coder pack. So before we can uh, start doing anything, we need to down or move some jars into this jars file and just open it and we are gonna copy and paste um, if you go back one just to dot minecraft we are gonna copy our bin and resources so just right click copy and just paste in your jars file just like this and then one more thing we need to do is go back to the internet and go to google and just type in Minecraft and we need to download the Minecraft server so if you already have it you can just copy it in there but I don't so I'm just gonna go to the first link and go to the download section just go down and Minecraft underscore server dot jar just click on that and we are gonna save that uh, C version 6 uh, jars and just save it in there and that's all we have to do so it should be in there so now what we have to do is decompile it so just says decompile right here just select it and hit run now it's gonna start decompiling all our uh, Java classes so what what that does is uh, makes it so we can edit them using something like uh, Eclipse or just a text editor so um, in my next tutorials I'm going to be using Eclipse to edit any Java files so if you want to use that that's cool if you don't you can uh, use whatever you like that's what I'm used to so I'm going to use that you can use a text editor or you can use whatever you want notepad plus plus whatever works for you so just waiting for it to decompile should take about 45 seconds or so and you'll notice that it'll give you an error um, I haven't exactly figured out exactly why it has an error, but uh, all I know is it doesn't affect anything to my knowledge, so it's fine with me, so just don't worry about it. And now it's decompiling the server. Just wait for this. And uh, let's see. Wait for it. Just about done, hopefully. Okay. Recompiling. And now it's recompiling the server. So it should take overall about a minute, minute and a half, so now we're good. Okay, so we're done. So um, whenever you uh, change any Java files, you just hit recompile, and it'll recompile everything. Now, everything's already recompiled for me, so I don't need to. And uh, let's see, I'll show you. Um, you can run the start client, and you can actually test your mods. So it's just like a working Minecraft, except if you screw up anything or crash it or do something really bad, it doesn't affect your real Minecraft. So I'm just going to test it, make sure it works. And wait while it loads. And there we go. It's, everything's working. So I'm going to exit out of this. And you've got everything set up. Now, uh, the Java files you edit are right here in the source. So just go to source, Minecraft, net, Minecraft, and source. And these are all the Java files you can edit. 
So you can play around with that. There's a lot of classes. So um, another uh, helpful folder is this reob op folder, and it's empty right now. But when you uh, when you edit your Java files, it'll automatically detect which ones you edited. So when you hit recompile, it'll add your classes in this reop folder, and then you, all you have to do to make that mod work is you just have to copy those files and drag it into your Minecraft jar file, your real Minecraft jar file, and your mod should work. So uh, hopefully in a future tutorial, I'll, I'll be uh, showing you how to install it if what I just said didn't make any sense. So uh, anyways, that's how you uh, get started making mods. So uh, I'll be showing you guys how to, you know, make uh, some few items and stuff like that. And uh, pretty soon I'll be showing you how to make a nuke with this new Minecraft. So uh, anyways, hope it helped and uh, thanks for watching.